Hi, I'm Kaplan from the CR4 Blog Technological, and I've got a brand new Popcorn Hour C200 here, and I'm going to show you how to install a Blu-ray drive and a 3.5 inch hard drive. Normally, if you install a Blu-ray drive, it only has room for a laptop drive, but with a simple modification, you can install a desktop hard drive to get a lot more storage space. The only piece you'll need is this U-bracket, which is used for attaching hard drives into optical drive bays, like a DVD bay. You can pick this up for a few dollars online. Open up the popcorn hour. The first thing you got to do is take off the, the Blu-ray chaser. Make sure to unplug the connection from the back of the Blu-ray. This will come right out. Now you have to remove the bigger, the smaller piece from inside this housing here. This is more. I got an LG Blu-ray drive because I've used this model before and it works fine. So I know certain models have had some compatibility issues. This will slide right on. Now that you have the Blu-ray drive attached to the housing, you got to attach the U-bracket to the side of the hard drive. The first thing you have to do is maybe drill a hole uh, through these holes to make them a little, tiny little bit bigger so the screws will fit through them. Just like that, the other hole I already did ahead of time. The trickiest part is probably just getting this all to line up correctly with the holes on each of the uh, devices, but it's not that bad. That's on. It's got to attach the other side to the Blu-ray drive. Right, once this is attached to the side of the hard drive, uh, you have to attach it with the other side right here into these screws on the Blu-ray drive. Just gotta make sure you get them to line up correct.
these two are attached. Just slide it right in here. The only thing left to do is to get these wires attached. Now this one with the, the double goes to the back of the blue right here. And now the only other thing you have to do is this other SATA cord it doesn't reach back to the hard drive, so you kind of have to cut it along this uh, sheathing here just to get the cords a little more leeway. And obviously make sure you don't cut the, through the cords themselves, just the protective sheath. And then you're all set. This piece is extra, and you turn it on. You should recognize it.